By the way, Arnold, to change the subject completely, what will you be doing when you retire? Ah, oh, very good question. <laughs> very good question. It's just that there might be jobs you could pick up, ways you could serve the country, which your successor, whoever he might be, it could put your way uh, and persuade you to undertake. <laughs> well, I have been giving it some thought. As you know, I shall be chairman of the Banque Occidentale yeah. and there'll be directorships of IBM and BP mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking... Yes? Well, the chairmanship of the Opera House Trust will be coming up next year. Chairman of Covent Garden. Mm. And the chancellorship of Oxford. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the deputy chairmanship of the Bank of England would be a... Uh, a challenge? <laughs> a challenge, exactly. Yeah. And head of the Security Commission. And the presidency of the Anglo-Caribbean Association would give one... Uh, a chance to be of service. Precisely. <laughs> Especially during the winter months. <laughs> well, I'm sure that any successor worth his salt would be able to arrange these, Arnold. You think so? And that's very reassuring. <laughs> very reassuring. Good. But there is another thing. Certain advice one may have given the Prime Minister could, if it emerged, be misinterpreted. Uh, uh, what sort of advice? Well, all sensible and reasonable, obviously, but advice about using troops during strikes. A very sensible precaution that they should be armed, but um, taken out of context. Machine guns... Oh, I'm sure <laughs> that need never come out. And I did suggest negotiations with South Africa about reactivating the Simonstown naval base. <laughs> Absolutely sensible strategically, of course, mm -hmm. uh, and a great help with the Falklands. But uh, if one were in line for the Secretary Generalship of the Commonwealth... Mm. Embarrassing. And, of course, you would be in line to be Secretary General of the Commonwealth. Would I? How gratifying. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure that the right successor would see no problem in keeping those files under wraps. Good. Anyway, to get back to our original point, yeah. I think my colleagues and I can now see our way forward to placing your name at the head of the list. 